beloved. I thank you so much for your time and I thank you for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will be your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. To those who are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as the spiritual path. I also offer on my Patreon personal readings for $50 per month. You get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, as well as career and finances. You'll find the link to my Patreon listed in my description box below. Or you can join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google, search it, and it will lead you to my Patreon website. Without further ado, pardon me, let us tap in and find out why were you spiritually led here? What is here for you, beloved? Why did you resonate with the title? And why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? Let us step in and talk to God, okay? They hand on you like that. 
they want everybody to know that like this is stupid like they want everybody to know like you and them had a back and forth and you were saying this and they were saying that like this is some woman shit like this is somebody here this woman this is a woman towards another woman here all right and a man i'm picking up a masculine too like so yeah take this up resonates right this is a woman in this energy wanting to have an altercation and wanting an audience while they're at it and you could be a feminine watching this or a masculine i'm picking up both energies but this is some this is some this is some weak stuff all right but let's see what's going on here we have taurus aries energy the performance audience energy i like to look at it as leo all right we have the world we have aquarius and scorpio energy So, okay, this person here, they don't, they want to do this publicly, all right? This is somebody that wants to do this publicly. They want to lay their hands on you in public. They want to exchange grimy, gruesome, grotesque verbiage, one-on-one, -on -one. we going at it. I'm saying this, you saying this. They want something heated. They want something very, 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 very heated. You know what I'm saying? Intense type of energy and you know what i'm also picking up from this present energy they desperate they desperate to make this happen because there's something about you as a person in your world and in your reality all right that makes this person feel like if they get this done it's going to put them in a different pedestal this is a cloud chaser all right this is somebody here that loves clout I hope this person is below 40. Man, like, what be happening? Like, okay, you know what? Let me just read this message, y'all. We got the Ace of Pentacles here. We got Virgo and Capricorn energy. All right? Yeah, this person views this as an opportunity. Like, putting you down is going to rise them up. Yo, this is some dumb, like, putting you down, they feel like it's, it's going to raise them up. Like, if everybody sees and knows that this happened between the two of you, everybody's going to want to know who tried, who tried that with you. Because of who you are as an individual, like, in your reality, your identity. They feel like everybody's going to want to know who tried you like that, like, and everybody's going to want to, like, see this person or associate themselves with this person if you know whatever like this is definitely a clout hungry person here like yes for the clout and the crazy thing is this desperation here is some serious this person the way they want to go about this this is stupid right but to them it's a plan it's like a solid plan resonates when I say it but they feel like they've run out of every other option to get in your energy in a way that's going to rise them up or put you down so this they feel like engaging with you in this way this altercation this fight this brawl like because somebody want to lay hands you know what I'm saying and you could be the type of person that you don't really you don't do things like that you know what I mean You don't do things like that because you're not on that vibration. Like, it's like you allow people to do what they want to do. All right? I remember this one time. I was in primary school, actually. And I had been fighting everybody, right? In primary school, I was fighting with everybody. And I was told that if I continue, I'm going to get expelled. And I had already come from an abusive household, so I was trying to avoid 
you know, beating on somebody and then getting beaten, right? So I stopped. And then one time, I was like literally provoked, you know what I'm saying? But I knew that like everybody is going to be having their phones out. And obviously, back home, everybody's gonna see, oh, oh, you was you still doing this. You still doing this. And I I did not want to get expelled, y'all. I when I saw abusive household, like, yeah, but so I allowed that person to, to hit on me and beat me. Like, I literally didn't fight back. I literally just let it happen. And I was out of it, you know what I'm saying? Plus, I was depressed. Like, there was a lot going on. But that specific moment where that person was just doing something to me and they, they provoked me. Like, this is somebody that, yeah, it's coming off like exactly that. Like, I was popular in primary school, all right? I was popular for, you know, I like, I was a rapper in primary school and high school actually, but so, you know, my name held some form of weight then, which I did not care for, but clearly this person and her comic friends, because it was a whole thing, right? And take that as an analogy, a reference point, a case study, an example to this message here, where somebody wants to do something to you and they want, you know, it to be seen and witnessed in that way. Because now when I got home and you know, everybody at home saw the video. You know, my mom even asked me, like, why didn't you fight back? I'm like, when you should have one that was beating my ass just like two days ago about what I was doing to other people. You know what I'm saying? I almost like hurt somebody really badly. And it's like, it was just something that I had a lot, a lot of anger. You know what I'm saying? I was going through a lot. I was depressed. It was just a lot. So she's like, nah, like I didn't say like, da, 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 da. but like if I had fought in that moment, it would have taken away my, it would have made it seem like I'm still on it. And who knows, maybe I would have been expelled. Maybe, shit, maybe, you know, because also coming from a household of poverty, like, it, it was hard to get inside a school. That school was the bare minimum, you know what I'm saying, that my mom could do at the time. And it's like, damn, what are you doing to me? You know what I mean? So it's, whatever, man, but, so I let it happen, and, you know, I wanted to press charges, but, you know, also cause a scene, like, pick that person up in the police van, go ahead and take them, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> but yeah, that was so long ago, but yeah, it happened, you know, so I'm kind of picking it up in this way. All right. We got the Nine of Swords, okay? Clarify the Nine of Swords. We got the Moon, all right? We have Cancer energy as well as Gemini energy. So with the Nine of Swords being clarified by the Moon, right? This person, as much as they want to do this, they very, very threatened and intimidated by you, okay? To the point where they feel like they wouldn't even have the time to think about doing this when they actually in the position to do it or if they find the opportunity to get in your energy like that they feel like they they, they will have to be under some form of substance here though they'll, they'll have to be out of it so that like they can they can just do it all right and not like think twice or think of any consequence or anything like that so for some reason also this person feels like they worried that as much as this is what they want to do to you, you might have protection by your side, like people that are connected to you, that love you, that wouldn't let anybody touch you like that, all right? People that wouldn't let anybody really, like, what you talking about? Like, what? You know what I mean? Like, now we gotta sit back and let that happen? You crazy, like, you know, she, she or he, all right? She, this is a woman that's trying to fight a man or a woman here, that's trying to fight you, whether you're feminine or masculine. She feels like the people that are connected to you will not let it happen. They won't just stand by and watch this person do as they please to you. They won't just let it happen. They might even see it coming and they might... See, this is what I'm picking up here. Let me slow down, y'all. This person is worried that this plan will backfire on them in a way that they'll try and do this to you and then they get sort of like put in their place somehow, you know? You, you 
take that high resonance, but they'll, they feel like they'll try and do this and then somehow get put in a place either by you or individuals that you surround yourself with or someone you surround yourself with. It doesn't have to be plenty of people. It could be just one or two. And then it will all just backfire. They'll look, you might open charges or something, you know. I, I That's why that memory of primary came back to me. It's like, you might be put in a position where you can do damage. Like, it's not just, oh, oh, like... This is what happened. Like you can put somebody in jail for this. You can get a protection order. You can, you can take them to the top. You know what I'm saying? And this is somebody that fears those consequences. That's why they feel like they even gotta be under substances. They gotta be under the influence for them to be able to do this and actually have it in them to just, just do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, this person hates you. Like, for, like this is like. Strong hate. And they hate you because you are schooling them. Again, like emphasis on that, and you take that how it resonates. But however way that you are living your life, however way you identify yourself to be, whatever you do in your reality, man, somebody just lose their mind on that because they don't want to be schooled by you. That's the problem here. This person, they don't want to look up to you. They don't want to see you as somebody that is like a teacher or a guy. Like, they just, they can't take it. All right? Weird, but okay. We got the Five of Cups. We got the Page of Pentacles here. We got the Fool. Mm. And then we got the Four of Cups. This person has a deep fear of this backfiring, beloved. They feel like this could backfire in multiple different ways, not just them being put in their place in a way of like people intervening and then preventing it from happening or something like that. Like, or are you doing something to them that puts them in their place? They feel like they could even, this could easily backfire on them in a way of like you not even budging or saying anything. They just hitting you. Like, can you picture that? That they will look crazy. And not only that, it will be caught. It will be like something that like you will require justice for. And everybody will see it like that. Because you're not going to be engaging in that same energy. Like, like it won't be like that. Back to what happened to me in primary life. That girl couldn't even show up at school. I think she she had to oh she had to go to a different school. <laughs> yeah, damn actually. Like, yeah, but my mom was crazy, y'all. Like, she she crazy. Like, she's she, but like she 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 was pressed about the fact that like I, I didn't do anything to that girl. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't fighting that girl. She saw the video, like it was from the time she came to me. Saying, oh, one, two, three, mentioning something, oh, you came, you came down the stairs and like you you pushed me, like you like you buzzed off. Like I'm like, what like I don't know you, like who are you? You know what I'm saying? And she was like, Oh, you think like yo, and it blew out of proportion. I I didn't do anything. And a police officer looking at that, what are they gonna see? Brutality. They're gonna see somebody that is doing something that is a criminal offense. Okay, and she, it was either I opened the case, which my mom was already doing it, or she leave, and they had to expel her and put her in a different school, because what was she thinking, attacking someone that wasn't doing anything to her? No. Coming back to this generalization of this message, if you think about it, if this person really wants to try something, let's say like they, let's say it happens, God forbid, or whatever, like it happens, and now you're in this position where it's like you're not, you're not even, lift, you're not even slapping or pulling or doing nothing or fisting, like you just, oh, you're not even pushing back, like ah, oh, you know what I'm saying? You just, yo, I swear, everybody will look at that person like they're crazy. That's what they fear. They fear them being seen as crazy by everyone. The same audience. They want the. They want the eyes. Huh? They want. Yeah. Everybody gotta know that. I, everybody got the world. They want the. Everybody. The same people. 
They'll be the ones now saying, yo, yo, you need help, bro. Why are you doing this to that person? What did she do to you? What did he do to you? Why are you attacking that person? What's wrong with you? Now they're going to be questioned. They sanity. They, their identity is going to be questioned. But like, what, what, what is wrong? And they were hoping to get clout off of this, right? They were hoping for like some form of like, yeah, right? Raw, raw, who raw, right? It don't work like that. Because some people, you can do that to them and it flips the script. Now you're in jail. Where they are, they're gonna be whipping that ass too because you're gonna find people just like you. Man, I just feel like here, like we got the strength. It's either this person is going to stay away from you, they're gonna take their demons elsewhere, or they're gonna try whatever this is and it's going to backfire on them. And we've already mentioned several ways that this could happen. To them, they might get the first thrill of like, yeah, I, I did this with I did this to this person, I attacked this person, I was gonna imagine if like this say the this take away the 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 brawl, right? They 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 lay in hand. Let's take that away and say like they they just now speaking every every sort of gruesome vulgar grotesque word that comes out of their mouth towards you they point your finger they speak and you just like like who gonna look crazy see like yo i'm, I'm done here because this person damn if they do damn if they don't they're gonna still be pressed they're gonna still be schooled Take your demons elsewhere, honey, before my God steps in and flips the situation in a way you can never imagine. Dirty, grimy ass. Uh, try this, try that somewhere else. It will never take away from my character because you are a lunatic. You trying to get clout? I'm gonna cease. That's disgusting. Anyway, this person's disgusting. I mean, cool to end it. All right, this was your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time and I thank you for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. To those who are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I offer weekly signed readings for $10 per month based on love as well as spiritual path all right i also offer on my patreon personal readings for 50 dollars per month you get a personal reading from me every month based on love spiritual path as well as career and finances you'll find the link to my patreon listed down in my description box below or you can join my patreon by typing what is on the screen via google Search it, and it'll lead you to my Patreon website. I thank you to those who've done so already. I appreciate you all. I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.